Good afternoon, Coupon Buddies. This is James, and I want to go over a couple of things that went on with me about an hour ago over at Rite Aid. Um, I went over to Rite Aid because I had a prescription I needed to fill, and I went over there. I figured while I was on that side of town, I would do a little coupon shopping. Um, so I took my little coupons over there and uh, brought my mom with me, um, hopefully to show her it was a little easy and spend a little time with her. And she ain't having it. She don't want to do coupons. She's not interested in it. But she was certainly interested in the shampoo deal after I got done. But anyway, we'll get to that in a moment. So we're going around the store, and the the some of the deals that I was looking for were not there at all. Again, so it was fun, whatever. Um, but there were a couple of deals like the Tresemme leaders, and there were also some uh, Duracell batteries uh, that were a really good price. They um, were they had no up rewards to them. They were just a really good price. Um, they were $5.49 regular price, $3.99 with your uh, Rite Aid card, and then I had uh, $2 off uh, with Rite Aid manufacturer coupon and a manufacturer coupon that I was able to stack, which made them $1.50, which is a really good price for batteries, you know, regardless if they have an up reward or not. So uh, we, we got those two things, and we went up to the register, and who is greeting me at the register but Sally Mean Mug. Mean mugging me before I even got up there. Like this. That's how she looked at me. Does that seem inviting to you? So I thought, here we go. So we get up there, and mean mug, she's ringing the stuff in, and uh, I'm like, yeah, I brought my mom with me, you know, I'm trying to show her how to coupon, and, uh, you know, try to, you know, have a little fun today, and she's like, that's nice. So, on with the transaction. Mean Mug decides to tell me that I have gotten the wrong battery. Because one of the coupons won't ring up. I've gotten the wrong battery and it's I've gotten the copper top and it should be the quantum. No problem. Go over. I said, I'll just go over there. I'll get them. Uh, I'll get the right kind and we'll just continue on, right? So, I get the, the right kind. I, I bring it back. Um, she rings it in, and I looked down at the total, and I thought, well, this total is a little high. And so I say, this total is a little high to her. And she, and I said, you know, do you have a printout so I can look and see? Because, you know, with, with all the coupons and the discounts and this, blah, 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 I knew it was too high. I knew it was. So she brings out the, uh, the slip of paper, and we both look down on it, and I noticed that both the batteries are still on there, I think. See, this is not this is all the pre printout. So they can print it out before they they finish the entire transaction to avoid situations like what happened. I look down and I say, "It looks like you didn't take the other batteries off that you'd already rang in." No, 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 no. I took those batteries off. Okay, I believed her. I mean, I don't work there. She does. She knows what she did. She knows what she's doing. I assume. So, I still look down and I'm thinking in my head, I need to add this up. I need to add this up. And lo and behold, what do you think is behind me? I'll give you one guess. People. <laughs> Two or three people. Out of nowhere, those, literally, I drove in. I was the only car in the parking lot. The only one. I go in, I'm only in there for 5-10 minutes because it doesn't take that long to grab one or two things. 5 or 10 minutes and I come up there to ring out and there are three people behind me. Why does this keep happening to me? Does this happen to you? you got to tell me in the comments. Please tell me that it's happened to you too. Because it's very frustrating. The reason why it's frustrating is because you're trying to get this transaction absolutely correct. Okay, it is, As a couponer, it is important that everything is correct and everything is accounted for and every coupon is accounted for. Otherwise, the system doesn't work. Why are all these people behind me? Just hanging out, waiting. It's almost like the mean mug lady called her friends and said, please come over here and hang out behind him so it can make him real nervous. So he won't add this up. People behind me. Anyway. So I decided, because of people behind me and because of who? Mean Mug. Decided not to add it up right there. And I should have. Okay? Partially my fault. Partially her fault. 
So, I decided not to ring it up and I was using my up rewards to pay for it. Now, everybody knows that your up rewards are there as a certain type of money. So, you trade it in. You know, it's like an exchange rate. You trade in the, the $5 up rewards and you get something that has a $5 up reward with it. And then that's how you get it for free. That is how couponing works. That's how couponers work. If you don't do these things, it will never work because you will just continue to spend money. Okay? The deal is to stop spending so much money and spend money on things that you really want instead of things that you need. So, you know, which is the point of all this, really. So I decided not to, and I decided to use my up rewards to pay for it, even though I knew that the transaction was completely wrong. Completely. And I thought to myself, my mom's here, these people are grumpy, she's mean mugging me, so I'm just going to take it out to the car, and I'll figure it out from there. Took it out to the car, and what do you think happened? The batteries were still on there, like I thought in the first place. But I did trust her judgment. Nope. She was so busy, mean mugging me, afraid that I was taking a dollar out of her paycheck, that she didn't even realize that she didn't take it off. And she knew, she just knew she had taken it off and she had not taken it off. So I sat out there with my mom. I said, I'll be back in one second. Because I can forego a dollar or two here and there, you know, if things go wrong, whatever. She, I was going to have a little conversation with her because she was already mean and not very nice and not giving good customer service. And so she needed to realize that she did something wrong. And this was her fault. So I went back inside and I said, hi, I know you don't want to see me again, but you messed up my order. You kind of left the batteries on there after I told you that they were still on there. And she looks at it and she all of a sudden, she gets a little more excited and a little more happy. Oh my gosh, look at that. I did not take those batteries off. I said, no, you didn't, did you? I'm still trying to be nice because, you know, I preach nice to these couponers. I preach, preach, preach being nice, but this one had me right upset, and I was going to get her together because she needs to learn to treat people with respect. It doesn't matter if they are spending a nickel or are they spending fifty dollars? She needs to treat them all equally the same. Okay? So she upset me. And so I decided, you know, that was enough of that. I got my money back. The exchange rate is awful now because now I have cash. And I'm sorry that I had to rant a little bit, but I don't want this to happen to you. So pay attention and I'll see you again soon. Bye.